if you're working on AI, machine learning, or generative AI on Google Cloud, and either preparing for certification or jobs related to that, then Vertex AI is the most important thing you should be knowing. It's a unified platform which will have all the things that you need in order to develop the models, maybe train the model, or maybe use the model, or or use the predefined models that, that are available from different providers on into Google's um, Google Cloud platform. Now, in this video, I'm going to talk uh, about everything that you need to know about Vertex AI, but I'm going to keep it very, very 30,000 foot view, very beginner friendly. And in future episodes, we might go a little bit deeper into this Vertex AI and doing some of the hand use cases. But this is very, very beginner friendly for someone who doesn't know. If you already are good in Vertex AI, you can skip this video and wait for other videos where we go deeper into this on Vertex AI. But if you're new, to, or if you've worked on um, other AWS platforms like SageMaker or um, Azure's Machine Learning or Bedrock or OpenAI, those things, then you will find, and you have no idea about Google Cloud Platform or Vertex AI, then it will be useful. Now, if you look at any of the jobs related to, as long as related to uh, AI machine learning, they might be required requirement for you to know the Google Cloud uh, Platform, or you're working on tools like Service Select TensorFlow or PySpark, or, uh, or other uh, tens uh, TensorFlow or uh, any other uh, libraries that you see, PyTorch and any other uh, frameworks related to machine learning, then also it will be useful for you. Now, in this video, uh, that video is taken from our training program on uh, Google's AI machine learning. So if you have any references, please ignore that. Also, I think I'll put a link or maybe somewhere in the video here or there, you'll be seeing uh, Google free account. Make sure that you create a free account and in subsequent videos, we are going to go and create uh, use and show it to you how to leverage that Vertex AI and do some hands-on lab or project or demos that we're going to show here. So with that, let's look at the video about Vertex AI on a, from a 30,000 foot view, beginner friendly Vertex AI on. Uh, let's go and play that video now here. Hey guys, this is Atul from team K21 Academy. And in this video, I'm going to talk about Vertex AI which is a AI platform from Google. And as this program is a, a job oriented and a certification focus, I'm going to talk everything you need to know about Vertex AI, covering what, why, and how in the context of jobs as well as certification. Now I'm going to keep it high level 30,000 foot view, but later in the subsequent modules and as we go deeper into AI machine learning, we are going to go and, uh, and go deeper and do the hands-on lab as well. So just to say, see, this is enough for you to understand what is Vertex AI, why you should be learning, what all things you should be learning, and later we'll look at the hands-on much deeper, which I'll give you and explain you everything inside this video. Now, this video will be available inside the community if you go under Classroom, and if you're watching this directly, you come under Google Cloud for Beginners, and this is where you'll be watching this as well. So with that, let's begin with this Vert Vertex AI, what this is and how you can access, and this is another console, graphical user uh, interface console on Google Cloud that will be showing and explaining you as well. So let's begin, first of all, what is Vertex AI? It's a unified AI platform uh, for Google Cloud, which is designed to simplify the entire machine learning life cycle. We're going to learn about machine learning life cycle as we go deeper, but if you look at in here, if you click on this link, you will have the supporting documents, which is inside our AI and machine learning program, you will have and going and looking at much more concepts. So again, just to give you the context, where will you find it? If you go into the classroom again and go and look at the AI and machine AI machine learning and generative AI for beginners. And if you're part of AI and machine learning program on Google Cloud, you will have access to this program as well, which is AI machine learning and generative AI for beginners. If you go there, and that is where you will have the entire machine learning life cycle as well. So we'll worth will be having more video and go, you can go much deeper into that uh, to understand what exactly machine like uh, ML life cycle as. Now, there are other things which will highly recommend you if you're part of, if you're learning AI machine learning, understand what is LLMs is, what the foundation model is, what is feature engineering, what are the different frameworks available, frameworks as well as libraries in machine learning, as well as TensorFlow, PyTorch, these are machine learning frameworks that are available. Also some of the libraries, which are NumPy, uh, Spark ML uh, Lib, and all those things that, that you'll be learning. So make sure that not only you'll understand the machine learning flow, ML flow, 
and these other some concepts as well that will be helpful for you to understand as well. So Vertix AI is, is basically simplifies that entire machine learning operations in a unified single platform which is built on top of Google Cloud platform. So if you look at the diagram, the bottom you have, if you look at this diagram, you have the underlying Google Cloud infrastructure. This is where you will have the entire infrastructure uh, underlying services. On top of that, you have Vertex AI, which consists of three main components, which we'll see in a minute, which is a model garden, there's a model builder, and there's an agent builder. And on top of that, then you have the Gemini, Gemini which is another uh, machine learning model from Google, which we'll be talking about later in subsequent videos. And then you can build your own generative AI powered uh, agents using these agent builders and so on. And on top of that, you can build AI solution. This is the overall picture that you'll be seeing and working. So now this Vertex AI will be useful whether you're preparing for Google machine learning certification or looking for any uh, job related to AI, machine learning, generative AI, uh, understanding of this uh, Vertex AI is very, very crucial. That's why pay special attention if you're coming from that back, uh, that background, you're preparing for machine learning certification, very, very important. Now, if you have to go deeper again, what is machine learning certification uh, is now inside the Google uh, AI machine learning job audit program, which I'll show to you a little bit later. Uh, this is where you will have the entire, everything that you need to know about this certification, which is machine learning certification, GCP Pro, professional machine learning certification, you're worth looking at that. So if you're preparing for that, Vertex AI will play a big, big role as well. Now, what this Vertex AI is does is basically for model you're developing. So development of model, training them, deployment or and auto ML, which is another feature, custom model training, or as well as ML ops, it provides all these services as well. Now again, uh, I'm using these of some of these cons concepts. You don't need to learn all of them right now, but understand if you're working Vertex AI, you'll be learning a lot of these things as well. In fact, we have a dedicated machine learning uh, ML ops. ML ops can complete for beginners that will be learning on ML ops whole thing that you'll be, you, you need to learn machine learning operations as well here. Now, this Vertex AI will help you to develop any AI based applications using that Vertex AI as a service, you can build your models, develop model faster. You can automate the workflows without, with very minimal code, as well as scale. If you want to build your scaled applications or uh, solutions built on, on top of um, AI based solutions, you can scale up very, very quickly as well. Now, as I said, there are three main components at that, as, as you see, first is model garden, second is model builder, and sec third is agent builder. So model is nothing but a machine learning model, which is nothing but, um, this is important for you to understand what exactly is model in context of that you see here. So model garden, think of it as nothing but as a curated repository where you can, uh, be, be the, that has list of all the predefined or pre-trained uh, machine learning models like Palm2, which is a uh, uh, Google's its own uh, model, and you can bring other models that that are that are available on the repository, and use that to build your application. So these are the pre-trained models, both from Google as well as the third party, which are which are authorized by Google to be bringing on that. Now. Uh, you can use these models to build your applications and these models can be bought um, quite e uh, easily. Later, we are going to look at and then we go to do the hands-on labs. That's when you go to learn and understand as well. So I'm just giving you an example of a dashboard and this is where you will be uh, looking and then you see here, this is where you have the model garden where you'll be uh, incorporating. This is, this is sorry, uh, I should have told. So this is Google Cloud Console and if you go on search here, Vertex, this is where you'll be uh, going in and looking at Vertex AI, and this is where you'll be uh, going and looking at this interface. This is what I'm talking about here that you see. And this is where you'll be having a model garden, and this is where you're incorporating and bringing all the models that you see. So you have Gemini, which is from Google's own. You have Llama, you have um, other uh, anthropic meta, hugging face, all those models you can you can look and see it here in this incorporate. Later part, when you're going to do the hands-on labs, we'll be doing a lot of those hands-on labs that you see here. So that's my, let me close this. That's my, uh, one second. yeah, so that's my model gargle. And then you have a model builder and using this model builder, you can build as name suggests with uh, different features are available. You can do auto, auto ML, which is again, we'll learn deeper when we go, which means with minimal code, it will automatically recommend you and build it basically with minimal coding. And for someone, if you don't have any expertise, that's when you'll be using auto ML, or you'll be using custom uh, training or integrated pipelines um, to build 
Uh, if you want to build your own models, that's what you could do using the model builder. And then you have an agent builder. Uh, basically, if you want to build conversational agents, like later we are going to look and uh, like, I think on agents part. So you'll be building agents using Google's large language model, and this is where you'll be incorporating. So there are conversational AIs, and it basically have capability of no code, low code, and you can also integrate these with your Vertex AI model as well as you see. If you want to see just what um, this agent builder in action, you go to the Vertex and then search for Vertex and you will see a uh, Vertex AI agent builder. And again, we'll go deeper into these things just so I'm showing it to you just on a context of this. How do you build and uh, deploy agent uh, enterprise ready generative AI uh, agents and what these agents even mean you'll be. So for now, as I said, I want to keep it high level just to see if that's possible. Now, some of the use cases are you can build agent builder to deploy a virtual assistant for customer queries, call center, uh, agents, and, and, and so on. And we'll be, you'll be building later in the hands-on labs, you'll be building some of these as well. Now, some of the features that are available on Vertex AI, you have auto ML, which is nothing but you can generate or create high quality models uh, with, without any deep coding knowledge. Or you can do your custom model training and with using frameworks like TensorFlow, PyTorch, or Skitlearn. Now again, as I said earlier, you want to know deeper. Again, as you go move forward, you'll be learning slowly, slowly these concepts. So what does these frameworks and libraries mean? What are the, uh, or difference between frameworks and libraries? Or what's the difference between uh, TensorFlow and Part PyTorch that you see pros and cons of each? Similarly, these libraries that you see, uh, which are Numphy, uh, Skitlearn and, and so on, which I was talking about, and Keras, which is built on top of uh, the existing TensorFlow that we'll be seeing understanding. Now, any of these concepts which I'm talking about, don't worry. Right now, as we go deeper, you'll be learning uh, more and more. For now, understand these are capabilities available. I want to keep it high level for now. And then it also has a pipeline. We'll see how this AI pipelines work. It also has feature store, which is a concept again in machine learning, which is a repository to store the features, reusable, accessible model within models. Also, there's a managed notebook. Notebooks are nothing but these are Jupyter notebooks. Basically, when you're running some uh, some uh, some task in machine learning, you can run it through machine uh, through the Jupyter notebook, and, and later part you will have see some of those things as well. It also basically for model monitoring. There are also pre-trained APIs as well as generative AI studio where you can build, uh, fine-tune, build, deploy LLMs like PAM2 or others and integrate those uh, LLMs within your solution as well. Now, the most important thing I always begin with why. Why you should be learning Vertex AI? Because it, there is a direct exam. If you're preparing for machine learning uh, or Google's machine learning certification, uh, there's a direct exam relevation, uh, sorry, uh, relevance. You have there'll be tons and tons of questions that, that are going to come from Vertex AI as well. Also, if anyone is hiring for um, in Google's AI machine learning, then definitely or generative AI, Vertex AI knowledge must as well. So whether you're working for AI engineer, machine learning specialist, Chennai developer, especially using Google's uh, cloud, then it's definitely a must on for, uh, for knowing as well. Now, how you need to prepare again, this first of all documentation we'll put it you can click on this link and there's a tons and tons of documentation material available on vertex ai but that's in my view too much and that's where this we are going to go very specific learning which you'll be doing as well so with what all things you should be doing as a part of vertex ai pipeline when you're doing pipelines or building you'll be doing data preparation as well as pipeline creations we'll see that as we go move forward you probably will be using training the models and using auto ml or custom trainings as well also some of the trained apis or generative ai models how they work together as well and then deploying these ml ops strategy strategies using the in the production environment we'll see some of those things as we move forward inside the program as well now um some you should you should be you probably should learn by actually doing and that's why in the hands-on lab that you will see later you'll see tons and tons of uh, hands-on lab related to most of those hands-on lab will be you'll be doing on vertex ai so if you click on this url which you'll be seeing or getting as a part of this program which is on kitnacademy.com gcp ai ml 05 these are the hands-on lab we recommend or we suggest you to do and you'll be getting all these hands-on lab inside the program itself so let me show it to you where these are so later you're going to do and perform in google ai machine learning certification program as well as job oriented program again soon i'm going to update this link to include the program but just to for you to search on on this 
you simply go to the cloud school and just say GCP AI um, and then it will give you the GCP AI job oriented program uh, which is under classroom if you go into the classroom here and this GCP AI ML job oriented program this is where you'll be going and searching but don't worry I'll, I'll share the link and this is where you'll have all the hands-on lab that you see all the companies related to Vertex AI and we'll be beginning with uh, Jupyter Notebook on Vertex AI. That is where we are going to uh, uh, you begin with on setting up like this. So you'll be learning all these hands-on lab. I'm not going to repeat uh, here, but once you do the hands-on lab, you'll have full clarity about Vertex AI. So have a look at these hands-on lab, which we'll be covering as well. Now, with respect to the job prospect, um, as I said, when you when uh, you learn or understand that Vertex AI, you can target the roles like AI engineer, machine learning specialist, data scientist, generative AI developers, um, and then you can implement these, this knowledge into uh, sectors like healthcare, fintech, e-commerce, entertainment. I see uh, telecom also are using extensively, so I'll update this as well for doing all these uh, use cases in AI machine learning as well. Now, I highly recommend you to watch or read that further documentation or introduction to this, but then I think my suggestion to you would be wait, understand a little bit, but then when you do the hands-on lab, then things will become much, much clear for now. I wanted to keep this video very high level from a Vertex AI point of view, just to understand that Vertex AI is a Google's um, unified platform where you can build uh, or you can generate your own models, build your models, you can bring other models, use them, uh, as well as uh, build the AI agents that are available or that you can you want to build uh, as well. Now, this is the further documentation from a um, Vertex AI as well as Vertex AI documentation worth looking at that. I'll put it under, you, you can register here. Now, the main important, another good point is then how do you compare Vertex AI with solution like in AWS? AWS, you have associated service like SageMaker and then from Microsoft, you have Azure Machine Learning so or ML Studio that you have. And these are the pros and cons of uh, compare them with Vertex AI, which is from Google, uh, SageMaker from AWS, and ML Studio or Machine Learning Azure ML from Microsoft Azure Cloud, and see which one you're going to use where. Now, primary focus is if you are more on a Google shop, you'll probably be using Google Vertex AI. If you're using on AWS shop, you'll be, and there's a tight integrations with AWS products as well or you're on an enterprise ready, more than a Microsoft Azure shop, you probably might be using. This is if you already have an existing solutions. If you're not, it will be driven by based on what the strengths and pros and cons, and this is where your architects will decide which uh, machine learning or um, tools or the services that you are going to use as well. So with the final word, the Vertex AI is, is very, very important for you to learn and understand, especially if you're going for Google side of Google machine learning certification or for Google AI machine learning job. Even if you're working on AWS or uh, Microsoft Azure AI machine learning, as long as you're working on AI machine learning, make sure that you understand Google uh, uh, Vertex AI. Now, if you have any questions, leave them. We have just started a, th a thread. You can post any questions you have below this thread. Uh, further so we can discuss and talk about and I'll do but the, the but then the best thing is immediately after this go and I'll share the links on we'll be hyperlinking all of these links uh, as you will see and then you can click and you can directly go to those labs and perform those labs as well so with that uh, as I said Atul from Team Ketun Academy I'll keep it high level and then after that look at other things that will be adding I'm just slowly slowly adding more and more related to AI machine learning and other things that are important for you to understand as well. So go and watch it one more time and then just understand from in high level notes, we'll go and learn and understand this deeper as we move with the hands on. With that, this is Atul. I'll see you in next video.